Y'all, check out what we found. <laughs> this is the animatronic witch from Home Depot. She rocks, she talks, her eyes glow. We got this for 20 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. It worked. Well, actually, we don't know if it works yet. Oh, we're, gonna really? find, we're gonna find out if it works, but it probably works. And we are gonna give her the coolest makeover. Do we even have all the pieces? I hope so. All right, time to find out. <laughs> all right. The head. <laughs> this is way bigger than I thought. It's Look how big this chair is. It's like a little... Uh, Leggies. <laughs> That's straight like Wizard of Oz legs. I know. Wow. Hey, these little fluffy feet. <laughs> Here's a body. Chair. Two pieces of. Oh, good. There's directions. Whew. <laughs> Is that it? I think so. All right. Home Depot makes a version of this every year. And I think this one's like three I think it's from years? 2018. 2018, okay. Yeah, they're pretty expensive new. This is a super exciting it's a find. Good find. Oh, there's a parts list. Okay, I'll read off the part. Two sides of the chair. Done. Got it. Two pole things. Legs. Legs. Back of the chair. This, uh, this yep. thing. Whatever these are. Yes. Little plugs. The body of the witch. Right here. Head and cord. Cord. There's no cord. There has to be a cord. Is it in the body? Maybe she's, yeah, maybe it's like plugged in already. It's supposed to plug in right there. There's the batteries. Okay, there's no cord to plug it in. Wow. There's a pretty good chance we have one. If you're like us, you've saved every wall plug you've ever had from old pieces of electronics and stuff. I have a huge box of them. Maybe we there have one that matches the right voltage. Yes. All right, I got a box of old, Courts. Let's see what we can find. We need 4.5 volts, 1.5 amps. 4.2, 5 volt, one and a half. Amps. This is 4.5 volts. This will work. It's not exactly right. We're gonna have to order the exact right size, which will probably cost like five bucks or something. But it will at least let us test if it works or not. Okay. I think. All right, step one. So these go in here. Maybe it does go from the other side? Oh, I see. There's oh, one. and there's a the tab thing. The screws on here. You know what? What? One of these is a thicker and one is thinner. I don't, I think this is the thinner one. Oh God. It's a little wobbly, but not bad. Step two, face, <laughs> this is the front. Oh, okay. That? Yeah. These legs are ridiculous. No, we've- <laughs> They're not even two, they're stuck together. Oh, no, it's just Velcro? Is it Velcro? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. What is this? It's like a cable tie stuck on there. <laughs> the back. Mm -hmm. Bam, chair. Next, her body. Okay, I think she just like slots in. Like... Oh, to, there's like a, a hole right Yeah. There. Okay, we should move it down because we can't yeah. reach and y'all can't see. It should go down to about there. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, there you go. We connect the wires. All right. Is that all that I had power for? Oh God. <laughs> okay, it works, it works, it works. That's exciting. Would you like some drink? Or would you have some drink? I definitely want to like build up her arms. I think we can use pool noodles to give her an actual body. She doesn't just, have a body. She has no arms. It's just we might even just do away with the hat entirely and give her like a nice wig. Yes, she needs new hair. Look at this, she has no hair. The hair's not bad, but there's not enough of it. It's very, very stringy, very mm -hmm. light. So maybe a nice, like a fuller kind of crazier wig. I think we can do all new clothes for her. We can go to Goodwill, get some like old crone like type stuff and- Like we did on the drinking skeleton. Mm -hmm. We could like get some clothes, like dirty them up, you know, make her look. Yeah, I want to go for like this forest witch vibe, yeah. not like, Halloween store vibe. <laughs> Our witch needs clothes, and we figured what better place to look than Goodwill. Yes. We had great luck here finding, I'm gonna run into a table. We had great <laughs> luck here finding that old fashioned nightgown for our empty soul swing girl. So Which I, was crazy, by the yes. way. It was amazing that we found it. So I figure we can find the perfect outfit for our witch. What are we looking for? A dress of some sort, kind of like muted earth tones, I feel like. Let's see what we got, what we got. I think long. How cute that is, <laughs> right? It's not a costume, it's just an outfit. <laughs> This is why you secretly love this. You get to go shopping. She's got those terrible, like, fluffy, stuffed 
shoes that aren't like even real shoes. Like the Wicked Witch of the West shoes? Yes, yeah, so maybe we can get her some, some real cool boots. They always have good boots here. I think something like this though. Like, these are good for tromping through the forest. Yeah. Collecting mushrooms, herbs, <laughs> eyes of newt, things like that. Eyes of newt. We could put a skirt under her dress and like give it some fullness okay. and layers and stuff. We could even do a little bit of color in there. Yeah. Maybe. Just because she's evil doesn't mean she doesn't have style. That's right. You think we can find a costume for ourselves while we're here? <laughs> um, those are amazing. <laughs> How about some snakeskin boots? Whoa. Or I could go as Captain Business. Captain Business. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you find there? <laughs> Okay, that was a success. We got pool noodles. These were from the dollar store. They're mm -hmm. literally a dollar a piece. We got a wig. This is really cool. It's like a silvery gray. Here. Does that have tinsel in it? Yes. We're gonna have to cut all that tinsel out. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we are. We could have a tinsel wig. Party witch. Wah. Okay. How do I look? Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> we also got a bunch of good clothes from Goodwill. That's a skirt. It's like, you know, some old, like, uh... Yeah, we're going for kind of a nature-y witch. Nature so we got witch. this cool green dress, we've got this brown shawl that'll go over her, and this red flowery thing. And we also have a whole bunch of creepy cloth left over from an old project. So we're gonna dye it, dirty it up, make it just look really cool and old. Next thing we're gonna do is take the witch back apart and we're gonna paint the chair. We're gonna make it look like a little... <laughs> <laughs> Next, we shall take the witch back apart. All right, man, the next thing we're gonna do is... And now we shall take the witch back apart and paint her chair and her face and, every, and everything. We're gonna paint everything. Is this what it's like for you every day? Just... Next day, everything's dry. We had planned on painting some wood grain, but didn't really work. We tried. These are wood graining tools, and we'll, we'll cut in a little video here to show you how they're supposed to work. But because this isn't a flat surface, it's not, uh, it's not really working. So instead of trying to get fancy with the wood grain tool, Jamie has a better idea. So we are gonna take some sponges and maybe some crumpled up paper towels and just dab it with colors. Make it look kind of dirty, get some blacks on there, some greens, not all over, just, you know, random places. And then we will dry brush it at the end and it should look great. I've got a little bit of a yellowish light brown here. I'm dry brushing just a few of the edges uh, where I think, you know, some natural wear in the wood would be. This looks amazing. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, just sparingly, randomly, no order. Like imagine this part got all moldy and... Yeah. Our witch's wardrobe looks far too new. And we want her to look like she's lived in the forest for hundreds of years, wearing the exact same clothes. Never washed them once. I think the aesthetic we're going for is, like if you ever played the Witcher or like Elden Ring or the, the hag from the new Resident Evil Village game, like they're just, you know, just gross stuff. So to achieve that, we're gonna use some watered down acrylic paints. And we're gonna use some black and brown, maybe a little white to make gray, and just kind of start with layers and work up until we find something we're happy with. It's always weird going to the store to buy clothes and then you're like, let's ruin them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I think while you finish painting the clothes, I'm gonna paint the hands. I pulled them nice. off, I just ripped them off basically. But they're too shiny. They're, <laughs> they're like- Way too shiny. They're very plasticky. So I'm gonna give them a primer coat with some flat black. Okay. And then we'll just paint them, I don't know, you know. Cool. Greenish. For cuticles, I wanted them to look really dirty, kind of like how mine are. So I put a little bit of a black wash right in that crack there, and then took a paper towel and gently wiped away, making sure to leave just a little bit of black pooling in the crack. These hands turned out so cool. They're wrinkly and gross and old. Perfect witch hands. What you doing, Jay? We're waiting on stuff to dry, so I'm pulling out all the tinsel from this wig, because I don't think our dirty hag witch should have shiny tinsel hair. And, uh, it's going okay. Pulling out individual strands of hair. There's a lot of tinsel in there. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> I will eat 
your soul. <laughs> Let's sit her down. Do we even want the purple dress on there? No, I don't. Cutting off the old dress. Arms. I think we should just start with some arms. Start with the arms. Yeah. Okay. So if this is just a pool noodle we cut in half with scissors. Do we just kind of stuff them in here? We just we tape it on. You think that's gonna stay? I do think that's gonna stay. Okay. She got no body. She did, she's too flat. So we need to build out her tummy. We're gonna do that with a couple pool noodles. Since this bends right here, they're just gonna attach at the top and hang freely. That way they're not gonna restrict the movement. Basically just gonna do two 45 degree cuts. Instant knee. So let's glue that together with some contact cement. Kinda look like big straws. <laughs> yeah. I sacrificed some wool tights. We took a little extra piece of the scrap, bent it around to give her a little uh, little meat on the bones. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go there. Somehow we gotta get this other arm through. <laughs> All right. Woo. There we go. You look beautiful. Look. Look, she's got legs and knees. Should we put the hands on? Yes. Okay. An extra thing we did with the hands is we took just a wooden dowel, we drilled a hole and just jammed it in there, put a little hot glue around the edges, and now watch. We can take our hand, and it comes with this little holder, that's the way it worked normally. We'll stick that where it's supposed to go. And then we have the hole in our pool noodle. It goes like that, pull the sleeve up, bam, look at that. Perfect. Amazing. Before we go any further, we should figure out where the motion sensor is going to go. Where is the motion sensor? It's yeah, exactly. It's is just it, under is the dress. In here somewhere. somewhere. Excuse me, madam. <laughs> so I think we can probably just cut like a slit in the dress and then just have it poke out and glue it from the back. Right there, probably. Hot. Oh. Oh. Okay, I got it. I got, got it. it. Okay. I got it. That should be that, fine. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be totally fine. She. I do think she still needs more bulk in here. Okay. You know what we could use? Her feet. <laughs> Just shove them in there? Yeah, yeah. All right, that'll work. We'll tie something around there, it'll look fine. Here's her boots. And they're already kind of aged, so they're perfect. <laughs> Look at those skinny legs. You know what I think? Hmm. What if we just, instead of like Stuck putting her on. legs in it, just put it like over. Sure. In, in and over. I think I'm gonna put this on upside down so that the fringe is on the top. There we go. White to white. Got no neck. Here, let's put this around her neck. She looks so good. So, the wig. This wig is just, it's glamorous. And it's a glam rock witch. It's it, looks like, it looks like she just came out of the salon. We need her to look like she came out of the swamp. <laughs> She's got like a nice blowout here, silver highlights. <laughs> Okay, so the hat, what I'm thinking is we can, you know, do some, some pinching up here and then we'll put some cloth over it. We'll take this yellow thing off. It'll look great. I want to make this curved. So I'm going to stick my hand in there. We pinch it and then the inside, you can't see it, but inside the little seam, you want to fold that kind of up and then get your needle through it. That looks super cool. Curvy hat. Nice curve to it. That's just bubble wrap. Just bubble wrap. <laughs> you can literally stuff like newspaper, paper towel. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Batting. This hair is really bothering me though. It's just too. It's well, too much. I think. I think we should paint it. You know, the smart thing is to just buy a wig that looks the way you want it. To. But the fun thing is to figure it out. Get some paint on there and then brush it through. A hairdresser costs you like three hundred dollars to do that. Just pour some acrylic in your hair and brush it through. Don't do that. Gandalf the white. Gend off the gray. Put it in there. Look at that. Time to go on? Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. That hair is so much better now. Yes, it is. I don't even mind the sparkles. No, the sparkles are kind of cool now. It's one more thing to do. Yeah? Accessorize. Ooh, so like maybe some bones, like maybe a bone necklace and, oh, I have some crows we can use. Let's put her all together and see how she looks.
This is the, the coolest transformation. I love how she turned out. She is, she's just awesome. And I love her getup, her clothes. We found them yeah. at Goodwill. And the cool thing about Goodwill is you never know what you're gonna find, but you're gonna find something that works. And since it's you know used and affordable, you don't feel bad getting it all muddy and painting it up. Yeah, like when we did the Empty Soul Girl swing, we found that nightgown for four bucks. And the real one was like $30 plus shipping. Not only are you finding unique stuff, but it's most of the time way more affordable to, to get the clothes there. Yeah, you can find different parts for costumes you're making, and they even have like a cool Halloween section usually with all sorts of vintage props and they stuff. They do, especially this time of year. Goodwill is an awesome place to get just all kinds of random Halloween stuff. You're gonna get find like sort of different things at each store, which is part of the charm of it, I think. And as an added bonus, it's great for the environment because you're taking something that could be in a landfill and upcycling it into something beautiful. I think that just upcycling and creating your own stuff, creating your own unique costumes and props, I mean, it doesn't get cooler than that. So thanks to Goodwill for sponsoring today's video, definitely check out their local store near you. I couldn't be happier with what we came up with here, so good job, Jane. Yep. If you want to see more Halloween projects, check out the rest of the videos on our channel, and until next time, stay wicked. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame.